couple of work tips when you're doing a pitched roof and a Dutch hip. Dutch barn hip. Right, so Dutch gable hip is when it comes up straight. And it's a triangle and it's a gable. It's a barn hip. Now, what I do is I run my ridge all the way through. I also run my lay boards through. Now, when I do my lay boards, I will just lay them in, leave them long. I'll do that both sides. My ridge, I will put a straight edge on the battens all the way through. Now, I don't have to expose that, I can keep it covered. I'll also get a batten and put the batten in the level. And then that gives me my line to square down. So that line follows consistent through when the roof tiler puts his battens on. Now, when I do this back bit here, for my little jack bars to cut into, I will cut a smaller piece. I'll do the same thing with getting this there and getting that straight. As long as it doesn't touch the ends of the lay boards. And then I'll follow the top of that line all the way through and the bottom, same as the timber that I'm putting back as like a lay board. Now, when I've done that, that will mark that on my lay boards. And that'll give me my marks through, and I can, that'll give me my angles of where I'm gonna dice that, cut that. So I'll cut that, but what I do is, I'll mark it onto my label first, then I'll just draw around it, it's nice and easy, and that just fits in there nice and snug. If I was starting from this end, I would cut my hips 245s and tighten to the last rafter, but I've done it like this from the other end to illustrate that you don't have to do that. So when I put this in, it just wants to work with my raft at the back, and my ridge. And then when I put my straight edge in there, that will work well. The hips, a little bit more difficult. So I don't think there's exactly a rule of thumb for that. So I'll just hold it up tight, get the angle and I'll scribe it. I cut one, I'll scribe all the angles on it and I'll measure it from my point and it'll work well. Good work tips, a Dutch barn hip.